Hi everybody, so one of the common questions I get asked is how do you reset vehicles on your DAISY uh, private community server? In other words, how can you kind of get rid of them all so you can spawn them back in as, as something else? Um, or maybe you've got a server where you just, you just want to take the vehicles away from everybody and redistribute them. Something like that. So let's have a look at how you do it. So what we're looking at here, this works for PlayStation, Xbox, PC. So we're on my Nitrado uh, servers here. So we're just going to go into the web interface for one of the servers. So we click on that. And then when you're into the web interface, you want to go to the file browser, which is down here. And then you want to go into your missions folder. On PC, you're going to have to dig a bit to get to the missions folder. Remember, if it's a Chernera server, it's Chernera. If it's, if it's a Livonia server, it'll be Enoch. So you click on that. And the file we're interested in is the events file. And it's in the DB folder. So we, we click on here. And then here we go. So here we go. So this is the file we're interested in, events. Now, we could download that, or maybe, you know, if you haven't got access to a PC and you're having to do it on your phone or, or a tablet or something, you can do this in the web browser. You could click on it. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. Now, I'd recommend you download it to your local PC, make a copy so you can always back it up, and then open it in your favorite text editor. So here's the events file, and oh, you want to scroll down or you, or you want to search until you find where the vehicles start to start. And this technique we're doing here kind of it applies to any event that is creating, spawning in an item. Um, because when, a, when an item is spawned in, so in this case, vehicle civilian sedan. So, so let's, look at this, let's look at this event. So the vehicle civilian sedan event spawns in the civilian sedan. Is that the Sarka or the Olga? I don't know. Whichever one it is, it spawns those in. Um, and yet, you have to remember that that civilian sedan, say this civilian sedan black here, every one of those that is spawned in by this event is linked to this event vehicle civilian sedan. They're always linked to each other. You can't have one without the other. So if we change the active flag to zero and then save that and then upload that file to our server and then restart the server, that will then turn off the vehicle civilian sedan event and all of the vehicles will go and there's there's other ways to do this as well but this is quite a, a quite a good way of doing it so the other thing that that means is that's why say you have um, a number of vehicles spawning in um, that's why when you drive away from a spawn point and if you have reached the maximum number of vehicles on that uh, for that event, another vehicle won't automatically spawn in, all right? Because it's always that vehicle you've taken is always associated with this event. Not necessarily that spawn point, but this event. One of the things that I struggled with when I first thought, I thought, okay, so if you had, uh, so in this case, for the vehicle civilian sedan, as you can see, we have 50, uh, the event fires off um, 50 times, basically. Um, so as you're walking around the map or your survivors are walking around Chernerus, when they come in within you know, the, the distances for this event, um, a maximum of 40, 50 of them will, will, will fire off. And the idea of the, this is that it matches the number of spawn points, potential spawn points. So the idea of this is whenever you get near a, uh, a spawn point on the I Survive map that says a civilian sedan should be here, you'll find one. And I thought, all oh, right, cool. So that means then also if someone were to take a, one of those vehicles and drive off and put it in their base, another one would pop up. But no, it doesn't. Um, it's always associated with this event, no matter where that vehicle is put on the map, until it is destroyed. Okay. And so that's why it's very important to tell you the players on your servers as well is if they want a healthy population of vehicles on their server, if they use a vehicle and they don't want it anymore or it becomes damaged, they must make sure the engine is destroyed because once it becomes um, destroyed, it will then despawn, you know, um, as long as nobody's around it uh, fairly quickly. And then a fresh one will then respawn in its place. Um, so anyway, so if you wanted to get rid of all of the vehicles, you would just go down vehicles filling sedan, Vehicle hatchback, let me just 
change it back to one before I forget. Vehicle hatchback, vehicle hatchback two, you change all these actives to zero. So you'd be going through and doing this. Okay, you don't have to do them one at a time, you know, you, I'm just gonna change it back. Vehicle off-road hatchback, vehicle sedan two, vehicle truck 01, change them all to zero, save it on your file, upload it back to your server, restart your server, they'll, they'll all turn off, so they'll all disappear, and then go back to your file, change them all back to one, give it, you know, give it 10 minutes, go, go, come back to your, your, your file, change them all back to one again, re-upload the file, restart your server and they should all start to spawn in again as i say there's a number of ways of doing this this is just just one of them um but um that kind of that's how it works that's how you reset cars and vehicles on your server how you can redistribute them um, um and uh, yeah hopefully you find the video useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon